Welcome to Maths Companion. Today, let us start the third chapter, Polygons. At first, let us make some shapes. I have joined three dots to get a triangle. How many vertices are there? One, two, three. How many sides are there? One, two, three. How many angles are there? One, two, three. There are three sides, three vertices and three angles for a triangle. Now let me join four dots. Four dots are joined and I got a quadrilateral. How many vertices are there? Four. How many sides are there? Four. How many angles are there? Again four. Therefore, for a quadrilateral, there are four sides, four angles and four vertices. Now let me join five dots. I got a pentagon now. There are five vertices, five sides and five angles. Six dots are joined and I got a hexagon. There are six vertices, six sides and six angles for a hexagon. I have joined seven dots and I have got a septagon. There are seven sides, seven angles and seven vertices. All these figures are generally called polygons. Then what is a polygon? Figures with three or more sides are generally called polygons. Now let us go to the next section, sum of angles. Let us take a triangle at first. What is the sum of the three angles of a triangle? We have already learned that sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now what about a quadrilateral? We know there are four angles for a quadrilateral. What is the sum of the four angles of a quadrilateral? Let us take a quadrilateral at first. Now let me draw a diagonal. Now the quadrilateral is divided into two triangles. This is an angle of triangle ABC. At the same time, it is an angle of the quadrilateral ABCD. In the same way, this is an angle of triangle ABC. At the same time, it is an angle of the quadrilateral ABCD. Now, this is an angle of triangle ADC. And you can see it is a part of angle A of the quadrilateral ABCD. This is another angle of triangle ABC and it is another part of angle A of quadrilateral ABCD. Combining these two together, we get angle A of quadrilateral ABCD. In the same way, these two are angles of triangle ABC and triangle ADC. And when we combine together, we get angle C of quadrilateral ABCD. That means, when we take all the angles of both the triangles, we get all the four angles of quadrilateral ABCD. Therefore, sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is sum of the angles of these two triangles. 
and we know that sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Since there are two triangles, sum of the angles of this quadrilateral is equal to 2 into 180 degree or 360 degree. Now, what is the sum of the angles of a pentagon? Let us take a pentagon and divide the pentagon into triangles. For that, let me select any vertex of this pentagon. Let me select A. Now, draw all the possible diagonals from A. When I join A to B, it's not a diagonal. It is a side of the pentagon. Now, let me join A to C. I get a diagonal. If I join A to D, I get another diagonal. If I join A to E, I will not get a diagonal. It is a side. So, I can draw two diagonals from this vertex A. Then the pentagon is divided into three triangles. Look at the angles. This is an angle of triangle ABC. At the same time, it is an angle of the pentagon. This is another angle of triangle ABC. At the same time, it is a part of angle C of the pentagon. This is an angle of triangle ACD and it is another part of angle C of the pentagon. When we combine these two angles together, we get angle C of the pentagon. This is another angle of triangle ACD and it is a part of angle D of the pentagon. This is an angle of triangle ADE and it is another part of angle D of the pentagon. When we combine these two angles together, we get angle D of the pentagon. Similarly, this is another angle of triangle ADE and at the same time, it is an angle of the pentagon. Now, this is an angle of triangle ADE. This is an angle of triangle ACD and this is an angle of triangle ABC. When we combine all these three angles together, we get angle A of the pentagon. That means when we combine all angles of these three triangles, we get all angles of the pentagon. This is an angle of the pentagon. When we combine these two angles together, we get another angle of the pentagon. When we combine these two angles together, we get another angle of the pentagon. This is an angle of the pentagon. When we combine all these three angles, we get another angle of the pentagon. Therefore, sum of the angles of a pentagon is sum of the angles of all the three triangles. We know sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. And since there are three triangles, sum of the angles of the pentagon is 3 into 180 or 540 degree. Now let us find the sum of the angles of a hexagon. Let me draw a hexagon at first. Now as we have done earlier, select a vertex, draw all the possible diagonals from that vertex. This is not a diagonal. This is a diagonal. This is another diagonal. This is another diagonal. This is not a diagonal, it is a side. That means from this vertex we can draw three diagonals and as a result the hexagon is divided into four triangles. Let us look at the angles. This is an angle of the first triangle. This is another angle of this triangle. And as you can see it is a part of the angle of the hexagon. This is an angle of the second triangle. At the same time, it is a part of the angle of the hexagon. This is an angle of the second triangle. This is an angle of the third triangle. This is another angle of the third triangle. This is an angle of the fourth triangle. This is another angle of the fourth triangle. This is an angle of the fourth triangle. This is an angle of the third triangle. This is an angle of the first triangle. And this is an angle of the second triangle. Now you can see when we combine all these angles together, we get the angles of the hexagon. This is an angle of the hexagon. When we combine these two angles together, we get another angle of the hexagon. When we combine these two angles together, we get another angle of the hexagon. When we combine these two angles, we get another angle of the hexagon. And this is another angle of the hexagon. When we combine all these four angles, we get an angle of the hexagon. Therefore, sum of the angles of the hexagon is sum of the angles of all these four triangles. We know sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree and since there are four triangles, 
sum of the angles of this hexagon is 4 into 180 degree or 720 degree. Now let us tabulate what we have seen now. For a triangle, how many sides are the 3? And there is only one triangle. We know sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now for a quadrilateral, there are 4 sides. And we have seen that we can make 2 triangles by drawing diagonal from any one vertex of the quadrilateral. Since the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree, sum of the angles of two triangles or a quadrilateral is 2 into 180 degree or 360 degree. For a pentagon, there are five sides and we have seen that we can make three triangles. Therefore, sum of the angles is 3 into 180 degree or 540 degree. For a hexagon, there are six sides and we have seen that we can make four triangles. And therefore, sum of the angles is 4 into 180 degree or 720 degree. Here, we have formed triangles by drawing all the possible diagonals from a single vertex. Now, look at the number of sides and number of triangles formed. When the sides are 3, there is only one triangle. When the sides are 4, there are two triangles. When the sides are 5, there are three triangles. When the sides are 6, there are four triangles. Now suppose the sides are seven. How many triangles can be formed? Five, right? So you can see that the number of triangles formed by drawing all the possible diagonals from a single vertex is two less than the number of sides. Now suppose there are hundred sides. How many triangles can be formed by drawing all the possible diagonals from a single vertex? 98, right? Now, suppose there are n sides, then how many triangles can be formed? 2 less than n, right? And that is written as n minus 2. So, for a polygon with n sides, we can make n minus 2 triangles by drawing all the possible diagonals from a single vertex. And if there are n minus 2 triangles, sum of the angles is n minus 2 into 180 degree. That means the sum of the angles of an n-sided polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree. Let us recall what we have learned today. We have learned figures with three or more sides are called polygons. Sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. The sum of angles of an n-sided polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree. Now a home assignment. Is the sum of angles of any polygon equal to 2700 degrees? We shall discuss the remaining part in the next video. Till then, bye.